Good evening, all. Now, in my last couple of videos, I was building this ruined castle. And um, at the end of it, I had a whole load of these stones left over. Now, I would recommend that you watch those videos on building the castle, but then I would say that, wouldn't I? Long story short, these are stones that are cut out of egg cartons. Um, they have this really great texture on the inside that looks absolutely spot on for stone, and that's what I've used here. But yeah, I've got so many of these left over. I thought I would try my hand at another scratch building project. What I'm going to build is, again, something quite unusual, something that not many people will have call for on their layout, which is a fisherman's chapel. Now let me just see if I've got any pictures of fishermen's chapels. I'm sure I do on here somewhere. So this is a uh, fisherman's chapel and the reason I want, well there's two reasons I want to build it. The first is that, I'm going to be honest, lockdown is driving me insane. I would kill for a trip to the seaside. Well, uh, I wouldn't literally kill for a trip to the seaside if I wanted to do that. I'd just break quarantine and go to the seaside. Um, but what I mean is, I really miss going to somewhere other than my flat and my office. Um, so, the other reason is that... A fisherman's chapel is a really simple building. Small windows, not very many of them, no chimney, simple shape, quite a small building. Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm new to this scratch building thing. I, I'm, I'm in no way an expert. And, you know, it's scratch building is quite intimidating. Like, you, you read the magazines or you go to the exhibitions and you see, like, some guy has has uh, Scratch built this perfect replica of St Pancras Station. And you just think, man, I could never do that. But as with everything, you have to start out small. You know, so that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think I've rambled long enough. Let's get down to it, shall I? Shall I? So, as with the castle... My starting point is this, regular old cardboard box, cardboard. It wouldn't be my first choice for a build like this. I would probably, for preference, go with something like mounting board or even cereal box card, but I don't have any of that, so uh, I'm just working with what I've got. This here is our basic structure. These are the roof, side walls, back wall. Now I haven't cut out the front wall yet because I'm going to do something different with that, which I will show you in just a second. So I've stuck all the bits together. Um, I've just used hot glue for speed. Um, you could use PVA, um, but I would say that a glue gun is a very worthwhile investment because it's so quick you save so much time they're pretty cheap you can get them for around a fiver um, and yeah like I, I just find them a very useful tool now uh, to go back to the um, to the chapel itself as you can see there's still no front wall I've put a strip of cardboard across um, might put another one across the bottom there. Next up though, I am going to clad it. So that's one wall done. I've just used um, craft card. Uh, cut it using a steel rule and a craft knife. I would have shown you me doing that, except um, pretty sure you've 
seen me doing that before and also it seems like every time I try to film myself doing it it is guaranteed that the blade will go off the line and ruin everything. So let's just take it as red that I've cut it. And... Right, the cladding is mostly complete. Uh, it's kind of rough, which is um, due to the fact that it's vernacular architecture and not because my measurements were sloppy. That's it. Vernacular architecture. Yeah. Uh, anyway... The point of the cladding is that cardboard is not very smooth. So I thought I'd try to get a kind of smoother surface for the um, stonework and the roof sites. But um, yeah, I said I was going to do the front wall, didn't I? Let's do that. So this is my front wall, the first layer. And the basic plan now is to use this second layer both to reinforce it but also as uh -oh. yeah see what I meant about lousy measuring earlier but yeah um, also going to use it as the base of window and door frames. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can see what I've done. I've just cut apertures slightly smaller than the ones on the front piece of card. So here's my plan for the roof tiles. Now what I've done is I've got some like regular food packaging card, cut it into strips, and then cut along the strips like so. Now, I don't know how visible this is to you. But I've drawn a series of pencil lines on the roof um, to act as guidelines for the rows of tiles. Because once again, while I am going for a vernacular look, I don't want it to look totally off kilter. That's where I'm at. Well, this is some very vernacular architecture indeed. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to rely on painting and weathering quite heavily here. Um, oh well, every day's a school day. One other thing I've made is these, which are the ridge tiles. Now these are just, it's, it's just a strip of card. I've scored it along the top, and I've also scored in the tiles to give it some relief. Let's stick that on. Okay, now to start adding the stonework, which was, of course, the impetus for this project. Now my camera really hates the contrast here, but I'm putting these big stones at the corners there, um, which I think will make it look a little more interesting. Well, that's finally done. The stone is all in place. 
I really love the effect, but man, it takes time. I wouldn't want to do this every week, you know? Um, so my next step is I'm going to add the door. Um, the only thing is, I, I don't know how well you can see, but this card seems to have, um, seems to have warped a bit, uh, which was perhaps inevitable. Uh, given that it's quite thin, I, I think the lesson to take from this is use mounting board in future. So, the door. So I've cut out a basic door shape, except, well, there, there's rather more than just the door there. Because I want this to... Uh, to do a little bit of structural work. What I have done is I've, you probably can't see, but I have penciled the outline of the door. And now I'm just going to score some planks into it. So there's the door, I've scored some planks into it, and I have glued it to some cardboard at the back for a bit of extra strength. Now what I'm going to do is just glue it into place. And there you have it, that's the basic structure. Join me next time, and we will finish this thing off. See you then. Cheerio.